Yeah, we are expecting that SES-2, this is the second burn for this mission to ignite. There it is, right on time. You can see that there on your screen. Now this is about a 50 second burn for this burn. And this extra burn, this is a single Merlin vacuum engine, has about 220,500 pounds of thrust. And burning just for about 50 seconds doesn't seem like much, but it's just enough to take the second stage with the payloads attached to its targeted drop-off orbit. That's exactly right, Jesse. This uh, burn will put Spherix and Punch exactly where we need to be, getting ready for Spherix deployment. An exciting time. I know Farah is looking forward to that one. Uh, so are we, uh, but things continue to look good. And you know, the second burn is actually a lot earlier than in other missions because, again, Spherex has to avoid the sun even on its way up to that sun synchronous orbit. Yeah, as Mark Hammonds mentioned earlier, the earlier second burn is a planned uh, burn to ensure that Spherex maintains that sun avoidance while achieving its intended orbit. And we heard nominal insertion there. This timing helps prevent the exposure to excessive solar radiation, keeps our thermal conditions that we just heard about within our limits, and ensures that proper instrumentation performance on the spacecraft getting ready for this trajectory and separation. And we did have a confirmation of second engine cutoff as well as good orbital insertion as Mick called out there. And we are coming up uh, in a few minutes. We will have, actually in, in about 30 seconds, we will have payload deploy of Spherex. We've got some great live views there on your screen. Earth looks amazing there. <laughs> that is a really great view. <laughs> and we're glad to have it. Again, we're expecting that deploy at 4156, about there. SphereX was designed to operate for at least two years, but the team says if all goes well, it could operate much longer. I'm expecting deployment here in just Spherex a few seconds. SphereX separation confirmed. And there we heard the call out, and now you can see that there on your screen, Spherex is drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage, confirming deployment. Woohoo! It took everything in me not to talk <laughs> over you. Though. Yay! <laughs> so exciting. Are you, are you kidding? Farah is at the hostess right now, jumping oh. up and down. So, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, again, great live views. It's always nice to see. And, and again, this is a, is a great opportunity to, for the spacecraft team to, to see it happen in real time. So uh, now the spacecraft has a three-minute pass over a ground station in Antarctica. You might have heard it mentioned a couple of times in the broadcast. Troll is what that ground station is called. And the team hopes to confirm an initial signal with the spacecraft. Yeah, that initial signal will primarily be gathering engineering data for its health and status at this time.